All right, I'm going to start with just the very simplest case. We have some supply and demand system, and we want to find where are we in equilibrium. What's P star? What's Q star? So let's start with the question of what is equilibrium? Equilibrium is a situation where things are balanced, where things are such that nobody in the system wants to change what they're doing. And that's going to be the case for supply and demand when quantity supplied is equal to quantity demanded and both sides have found some price that makes this the case. Now algebraically what this means is if we've got a price where the quantity supplied, right, so we could think about this quantity representing quantity supplied, and we've got a price that finds a quantity demanded, and that price is the same, and that quantity is the same for both sides of the market, we are in equilibrium. Now, why is that the case? Why is it in equilibrium? At this price, these buyers are able to buy this product. They have a value higher than the price, so they pay this price, they get the good, they get some consumer surplus. The sellers are willing to sell because their marginal cost, their cost of getting that unit out the door, is lower than that price, so selling means that they're getting P-star and they're facing a lower amount of tax. So the buyers and sellers who do buy and sell are over on the left side. Over here, we have more potential sales, right? So the supply curve overall is representing willingness and ability to sell. So we think about any particular seller and we ask, you know, if this is say 100 units, and we want to go to 101. The question really is, what price do we need to charge so that somebody is willing to sell that 101st unit? What is the price that covers their marginal cost? All right, so at P star, given this underlying system, that marginal cost is higher than the price, and so they are not willing to sell. I right? put in another way, we don't want to go up the supply curve. Sellers don't want to sell any more than 100 units. They also don't want to go down the supply curve because selling fewer than 100 units means giving up the opportunity to sell, say, the 98th unit at a price that more than offsets the costs. Right? So from the seller's perspective, at this price, they are happy. Right? Of course, they'd always love to have a higher price, but they don't want to sell any more than they are, right? They've got the quantity tuned in, right? They're selling what is profitable for them to sell. And for the buyers, they don't want to buy less because these buyers who are buying these first 100 units, they get more value than they're giving up. We also don't want to go down the demand curve because the value of these units, right? The marginal benefit the willingness and ability to pay. What are people willing to give up to get that 101st unit, to get one more than is already there? Well, whatever the 101st best use of this product is, whoever it is that would be making that use feels that the marginal benefit to them is a little bit lower than P star. Right? So let's say there's 100 people and you and 100 units, right? So you, me, everyone in the class are these buyers. And then we ask, well, what if I want one more? Um, so let's say we're thinking about a market for six packs of beer, right? So we all buy as much beer as we sell from the sellers who have it. If we want more beer, we're going to have to get the sellers a higher price to cover their costs, or they're not going to be willing or able to sell it to us. Likewise, the marginal benefit of that 101st six-pack, let's say I'm going to get it. What's my benefit from that six-pack? Well, it's something less than P star. Otherwise, I would have already been buying in equilibrium, right? Equilibrium wouldn't be 100, it'd be somewhere further to the right. So any of the units over here, the value to the buyer is less than the price, and the cost to the seller is higher than the price, so we never get to this side of the supply and demand graph in the normal story. Likewise, if we're over here, we're missing opportunities for gains from trade, so we don't want to be here either. We move into this center point, right? We stop right there. 
Speaking of stop, I'm going to stop the recording because my dog is about to attack my cat and I want to keep the peace.